So you do cheat, right? You do a little, you do a little bit of cheat, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I, so number one, if your if your teammate uh, messes up the kickoff, that's not your fault. That just means that they need to practice it. So if someone is not practicing their kickoff, it's indirectly affecting you, or you know what I mean. So it's not your fault if they mess yeah. it up. And then vice versa. Um, if you if you don't cheat and then the opponents get a free dribble because let's say they get a dead 50 in the middle and then one of the guys cheats he's going to get a free dribble right on the other end and right. then you're going you're gonna to be all the way back and he's going to get a whole dribble to, to you know he's going to have the whole field to, to dribble you and, and flick over right. you so it's it's really just better in doubles to just cheat um, all the time mm -hmm. every time because number one you, you need to trust your teammates kickoff that's decent so that when he does get a good kickoff you can just follow up immediately and get an advantage you know what I mean Yep. Um, so always, 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 always cheat. And then um, when I, excuse me, uh, when I do these, I always like to go like up one, two, and just a half right there. Um, that's that's about where I like to be when the kickoff happens. That's what I like to do is go two and a half right there. One, two, and just a half right there. You know, it's usually a good spot in my gotcha. opinion to get up to when you cheat. Because, I mean, you're cheating, but you're also kind of, like, uh, being a bit passive about it. You're like, eh, it will cheat, but I don't want to, like, cheat, cheat, you know? But when you get the higher levels and stuff, you can, you can trust your teammate more to get a better kickoff, you know what I mean? Every time. Once yeah, you, once you get I, I think some sometimes, I don't know if I do it here or in any other occasion, but sometimes I'll take the first pad and then either take the left or the right pad. Because oh, yeah, like, sometimes like my, the... my teammate will, will grab that pad. So sometimes I'll get one of the side pads. I don't know if... I think, you know, I think that works. I, I, think, that. I think that works fine. I'm just letting you know like what I like to do uh, in, my, in yeah. my games when I'm ready to that. But that's fine. That's pro I could probably work too to take those types of things. You know, so that works. Just, just as long as you're cheating and like not just sitting all the way back, you know, back here, then you know, it's no, no good. Right, right. Uh, but yeah. All right, moving on. Oh, I need to get out the pen. There we go. So yeah. Good cheat though. Yeah, good, good, good. good. Alright, boost is good, nice. Okay. Alright, let's look here. So he's gonna get a big hit. Uh, let's look where your teammate is. He just did kick off, didn't he? Okay, yeah. So, your teammate should already be back here, I feel, but that. Okay, no, he's back over there. I don't have the replay necessarily here, but it's okay. I have a video, but... Uh, wait, you're an orange team, right? Yeah, you are an orange team. So he does kick right. off? Yep. Wait, no, you're not. Wait, you are an orange team, what? How's your team end up over there? That's so confusing, what? Okay. Because <laughs> these are the kinds of teammates I get in set look at you. <laughs> no, this is... How is... This is not possible. How does he end up over there? What? This guy's doing magic tricks. There's no way he gets that far after the kickoff. What? Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Guy literally... Oh, God, he went, like, right through him. That's so weird. Okay. So, you... never mind. You don't have a teammate back. So, it's only you. Uh, good catch. Okay, okay. Decent, decent. Um, definitely. Okay, so here. Um, this is good. Like, the idea is good. Uh, to hurt it back into the back of your corner. Um, you basically, what we need to develop or just work on uh, when we get around to it is just we need to learn how to catch these, but without jumping. If we can, if we can, you know, because what's going to happen is if we can't, if we can't catch the ball, um, like without, you know, reactively jumping, right? Then we're just going to end up giving the the ball back to the opponents, right? So if we can calm down here and just learn how to catch the ball without jumping. Here and we can learn how to get those good catches, and you're gonna benefit a lot from that. So we can just, because again, if you jump here, right? So what could happen? So what's gonna happen is, you know, this is the ball center of gravity. You know, this is about the direction it's going in. That's gonna land somewhere over here, right? And then it's gonna bounce off, and then you know, the the boys are gonna are gonna get possession, and you know, start pushing down here. So it's just gonna be, end up being a bit of a toss, a little bit. It's gonna get back to the team. If that makes sense, so um, versus if you're able to catch and it, it is the 
is the catch like let the ball fall on your windshield type of deal like is that the optimal way of catching it um uh there's definitely different ways you catch it here um the way i recommend so you so i don't want you to necessarily like catch it on your hood and dribble it i, I want you to just bring it back down back down to the ground so when you're doing these like Make, make it so that the soft touch makes it so that um, that when the ball's down here, it's like comes down here a bit, you know, that's the ball, whatever, that you're able to like coast it and catch on the ground, right? Swoop it down here so that it doesn't bounce. So I don't, I don't, so I don't want the ball in your head, right? I don't, I don't want that. No, I just want you to try and coast the ball down to the ground softly and then turn with it, like. You know, and then turn with the ball, that sort of thing. So you're kind of trying to get it to almost like hit the side of your car, kind of yes. deal, like yes. the left side of my car in this situation. Yes, I, I need it to like catch off of the side of this thing right here, like yeah, that like that, you know. Yep. So because uh, then it'll it'll um, catch nicely, and then you'll also be able to fifty the ball uh, because the ball will be more like in front of you. So I'm trying to imagine ball's like right in front of you a little bit and then you know you can you know the the side of your car is like covering all of it like it's just a big wall you know like there you go it's a wall whatever stupid bad drawing you know but you just it kind of yeah, it makes sense though yeah it just, it just acts like a big wall so i'm like imagining you know your, your hitbox back here there you go right it just acts as like one one big wall that sort of thing yeah yep. so just you know you can use it to block the ball as well so not only are you catching in front of yourself, you can also get a good 50 because now it's really close to you. Like the ball is just gener generally close to you, like way closer to you than your opponent. And then, you know, you can use the side of your car to flip into it in 50 when he comes and challenges you, you know. Um, but yeah, so if you if you can learn to catch it um, without like reactively jumping, then you're going to benefit a lot from that because you're going to be able to keep it. Number one, you're going to keep it close to your body, right? Excuse me. You're gonna keep it close to your body, and then because you keep it close to your body, like as close as possible, then uh, then you can time the 50 better, right? With with when he challenges you, right? Because he's gonna come, right? He's gonna come down here and barrel you, right? And by the, by the time that you know he makes contact, right? You know, right around here, the ball's right there, right? You're gonna you're gonna do, you know, this is gonna be your car. You're just gonna it's gonna be a big block, right? This is gonna be. I need let me use a different color. Yep. Yeah yellow yellow there we go so this is like the side of your car right it's just blocking all of it you know does that make sense like you can, yeah. you, you can use yeah. all, all that side of the the hitbox there to to help block it right so just being able to keep it close there right um and catch it close to your body is a, is a really good skill to have and it's gonna help you uh win some 50s here um so that's just that's just what how I play it better um, is if you can catch it um, down to the floor there by your side and then go for the fifty so that you're not like giving it right back to any team, right? I mean that was a pretty good follow up. I'm just letting you know like how um, how this kill played out because again depending on the player there uh, that's gonna pop up and then if he was a better player then he might be able to just capitalize on that and get it over you um, just because it's not great possession um, but that's okay. Yeah, really good fifty though. Yeah. Good it's 50. definitely gonna be, it's definitely gonna be pretty consistent advice throughout this video. I think because I'm, I'm definitely a bigger, like fifty and kind of boomer, like sometimes a strategic boom. But you know, I'm, I'm not so good at catching and dribbling and and doing that play style. Uh -huh. That's definitely something I want to work on. Yeah, um, I just find twos like it's gonna it's gonna force you at some point it's gonna mold you to where like you're really gonna have to focus on number one like possession of the ball like you really have to focus on when you have the ball like not to throw it away like that becomes really important yeah and then number two uh keeping it close and taking really solid 50s because if you're if you're like whiffing every 50 um it's gonna put a lot of weight on your teammate if you're not like able to cover the ball properly you know so yeah just, just certain, certain, certain characteristics of the game mode are going to come out um, as you get into higher levels, that sort of thing. Yeah.
So this like, right here is a really good example where like if you can, if you can keep it close, right, then it's gonna it's gonna be a big benefit because it's it's a lot more beneficial to keep it close and like get good fifties versus just giving right back to the new team. Obviously, I mean that, that obviously that goes for any game mode, but here more even more so because it's it's twos, you know. So any 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 chance uh, to not give the ball back to the opponents, you want you want to take. Um, right because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at, at some point in doubles uh, possession is really big and if you don't have the ball well you're probably the one getting dribbled on you know whether it's an air dribble a flick whatever you don't want that you know keep keep the ball for as right. long as you can keep it uh right okay what was I moving on about? okay yeah you know, try and catch it on the ground if you can uh this is actually a really good pack that i can recommend you recommend you after this um you probably even look it up. It's it's Wayne's dribble pack. Like literally, all you do in that pack is just, is just catch the ball, pretty much. So, might might recommend that later. Sounds good. Okay, yep. Here, this is a very very good fifty. Very good. So even though we kind of tossed it a bit, um, it wasn't too bad. Like because he he wasn't good enough to like follow that up immediately. So, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so basically, yeah, you just come down here. Nice 50. Very good. Good timing. Hold on. Do do do. Yep, cover the ball. Nice. Good, good. Okay, um. Okay. Good, good. I think it's, it's fine. Okay, this is this is actually very nice, uh, in my opinion. Because what number one, the the really good thing here is, so we go for the fifty, right? And then we we're able to accept the fact that we're not like in a good position to go for it again, right? Like, sure, you could aggro that, but like, what's the point? Because you already have a teammate back there, right? Like he he can't like right. he's already got this whole area behind you covered. Like, um, he's, uh, I don't know what color to use, but you know he's already got. You know, this whole area back here um, covered. So you don't you don't need to be here because he's already he's already moving this direction. Does that make sense? Like so. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Like just there, there's there's literally I swear to God there are times where it's just okay to leave it to your teammate. You know you don't have to ball chase the whole time. Yeah. You know. So. I think yeah, for good, sure. So I think good play here, um, rotating in behind your teammate, right? Because again, like I said, he's gonna move in. He's gonna move in behind you, cover all that, right? And then you can just easily just move behind him back here and then rotate, you know, X marks the spot back post, right? And you can, then you can be, right. ready, be ready for, you know, the next set of hits that might score on the goal here, you know? You'll be ready for that sort of thing. Yeah. So really well played. Good, good rotations here. Let's keep going. Good. I mean... Now, this is even better because see so normally some people look all the way back post right but here you don't even need to because here you're like okay i'm going to rotate back post just in case right which is good um but then uh your teammate gets a nice dribble forward and you're like okay oh my teammate's got something going he's starting to push that's good now you're going to follow up with the push right so again um really good here just just being proactive like hey if he's going to get a push right you don't need to be back there you don't need to be all the way back here for it you know, there's no reason. You know, you can just turn around and then follow up with them and just, you know, like, you know, feather behind them. Yeah, that sort of thing. So good, good, good. So good, good. Yeah. Nice. Following up. We're following up here very nicely. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Uh, I think here, literally, all we're missing really is I think if you're just maybe following a little bit closer, like. Like here, I think it, what would help here is if you followed just a little bit closer, had a bit more trust, like, uh, and I understand, but here, like, once he gets that push going, like, don't, don't even, don't even hesitate to push up. Like, if he's got a push going, he's got a push going, you know what I mean? So don't be afid to like, right around here, you know, there, there's a bit of space between you and, and them right now, so if you like close that gap a bit more, and just come in a bit more, and then hover a little bit closer, then you'll be more ready for the 50, because what happens here, is you get to about, I don't see where you get to. Right here. Yeah, so, you kind of beat some out. Yeah. So, so right now, the, the main thing, I, I believe, uh, at least for me anyways, is that, so you're here, and the, the 50 
is happening way over here. So if the 50 mm -hmm. occurs, you know, X amount of meters, I don't know how many meters, let's just say like 10 is too many, I don't know. I can, I'm not gonna even get into that. So whatever, it's far away, right? The the ball, the the, the time, and the time that this guy challenges, you're you're pretty far away at the moment, right? In terms of like right. space, you know what I mean? So um, if you if you were able to be a little bit closer though, like maybe up here a bit more, by the time that that this occurred, uh, you know what I mean? Then that would have been a bit. You would have been closer in in space, right? And then you still would have been able to challenge it because it would have. Right. Bounce here, and then you would have right. you, you, you would have already pounced on it immediately. You know, would have been no question. Right, and the, and I probably would have won the second fifty, but I lose it here because the opponent is about to beat me out to the second fifty that happens. Yeah, so it's it's okay to like just passively as you're moving up, you know, to use a little bit of boost, you know, um, mm -hmm. and just just like follow relatively close behind, so that when they do the fifty, you'll be close enough. Uh, by the time it happens, that you'll be able to pounce on it immediately. Like, like if you're here, and the ball's here, like in the 50, like you'll just be able to go on it right away. Like, just be immediate. You won't even have to question it. So the only reason really you get beat here is just because you um, weren't quite close enough to the point where you could react uh, quickly on the 50 here. That's really all that really it boils down to. So here, right. So if you're a little bit closer um, when the 50 happened, then maybe you could have gotten it. Right, but here, I'll, um, yeah. So risk factor is pretty big here. Like, you either completely miss this, or you get a like a dead fifty in the wall, or like something, you know. So uh, another issue here, maybe also that I didn't even think about. So I always tell people to rotate behind your teammate, not off to the side, because in doubles, you know, if you're gonna play a safe game of of two v two, um, and by safe I just mean like reliable, you know, like. It just happens to work. I don't know, but so if you can kind of like inch behind them, right over here, and then play on 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 this thing, so whatever that, right. So if you play behind them, so your teammate is here or something, or you know whatever box for a car, whatever draw box, whatever. So this is your teammate right there, and then you know you're gonna be Let's see my, how good my perspective is, but. Not that I need to have perspective to draw, but uh, there you go. That's you. Wow, wow. I'm so good at drawing boxes. Wow. Give me a reward. Anyways, so this is you, right? And then you're just falling behind your boy. So like directly behind him, whatever. I think you get what I'm getting at with that. So if you play like directly behind them, like off to you know, like because if they're way off to the sidewall right here, then you should also be way off to the sidewall behind them, right? Just falling behind them right here. But since you're off to the side more, that creates even more distance from the 50 than you already are, because you're at a diagonal, right? So, because diagonal, right? Versus if you're just right there. Uh, does that make sense? Uh. Yes, I think I, I wind up, like, I stay in the position I'm in right now, because if he, if he were able to get a pass from that corner, I'd already be set up and pointed towards the goal to be able to receive that pass. So I think that's why I tend to play diagonal to the person more. Um, but maybe, maybe I'm not thinking about that correctly. Yeah, I mean, there's. let's just be honest here, right? Like, um, so right now, your teammate, he, look, uh, he's just gonna, look, what he's gonna do is he's just gonna dribble it down the sidewall. That's all he's gonna do. He's not even thinking about passing you right now. Like, he's not... Literally, I don't believe he's focused on passing at the minute. He's just focused on dribbling it down the field. I don't. I don't even really mm -hmm. think. He, I don't even think he has the awareness or the. You know, I don't, I'm pretty sure that the idea of a pass did not even come into his mind at all here. Mm -hmm. Like he was just basically, yeah, I got the ball now, so I'm just gonna dribble it um, down the field. You know what I mean? Like that, he really yeah. wasn't even thinking about it. So unless he, like, look how far behind him you are. Like, you're not gonna, that doesn't, yeah. no, it doesn't work. Like, unless you were like pre-positioning him, like way off to the side, like, you know, if you didn't like go, I mean, you were already going, you were already going behind him, right? Like you were already, yeah. you were already playing more safe than you were like for a pass, more aggressive, you know what I mean? Right. So you may as well just, you know, stick with that and just, you know, do like I said, and just stick, play behind him. Cause if you're not, if you're not behind him, yeah. cause if you're not gonna like, cause you say you're playing out, you're off to the side, but really you're not. 
Like, you have to be, like, way over here. Like, oh, lord. Yeah, you should, you should have already been, like, not, oh, bad. Yeah. You should have been, like, right here. You know, like, because, again, if he's gonna, if he's that good, which I don't think he is, you know, then, you know, be like, oh, yeah, you know, guard dribbles it up, puts it up here, and bang, you know, arcs it right there, you know, but, like, that's, we're not at that level yet. This is not happening. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> we're not there yet. Yeah. So. So unless you were like prepositioning like you were like like I showed you here for a pass like off the side then yeah maybe you know that could work but the way you're positioned right now you're just playing like really safe behind him you know there's no really passing opportunity uh, there you know like it's just you playing like gotcha. behind and safe so this is what happens in twos okay this is what happens all the goddamn time in, in 1v1 or not ones but uh, twos right is that this guy is what happens every game in solo queue all right, I've seen this 10,000 times. Everyone does it, right? Where this guy right here, he's like, okay, I got a dribble. Now I'm just going to move it down. It's like, oh, wow. Oh, okay, now they 50 right here. And then, you know, the guy behind him, which is you or something, you know, it's you. And then you just like, oh, the 50. Oh, it played out like, oh, like over there. Oh, okay, now I'll go, right? Just they play. It's it's literally solo play city. This guy solo plays, mm -hmm. does the air dribble, stupid shit, you know, loop de loop, flip reset, you know, shit, into, into the goal, right? You know, you're just sitting there behind him, like, you know, perspective. Wow, it's a terrible box, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh wow, you know, you're just, just looking at him. You're like, oh wow, you know, <laughs> really, really cool. I'm gonna draw an eye or something. I don't know. You're like, oh god, terrible, terrible drawing. You're like, you're like, Ooh, wow. You know, just looking at him, you're like, wow, wow, <laughs> great, great, great air dribble, buddy. You know, car carrying me, you know? This is what happens every game. Every single game is this guy mm -hmm. does the air dribble, flip de flip loop -de shit flip reset garbage, right? And you're just there sitting, like, watching him right here. Like, oh, wow, wow, like, nice, cool. This is what happens every single doubles game, all right? So unless you're, like, able to... I mean, not that they, they won't pass, like, they just don't pass until they're, like, more aware and better at the game, usually, you know? I don't know, right? But a lot of twos, it's yeah. literally just this guy solo plays, the guy in front, so first man, so right, first man. Uh, that's not yeah. one, but this is first man right here, right? So first man does the loop-de-loop -loop garbage shit, and then second man, you, right? Whatever. You're the guy who just sits and watches. You just you're like, yeah, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following. Oh hey, uh, he did a thing. Oh, oh he hit off the backboard. Out to me. Oh wow, that's so nice. Maybe I should, you know, follow up on it. You know, like it's. This is how two v two is played. People don't like it. It's just how it is. All right. I don't know why yeah. it just is. Okay. So if you want to play reliable solo queue, you know, with your teammate, literally all you do is you just watch him. You just spectate. I'm sorry, you just watch him do the thing. You're like, oh, yeah, nice dribble, there you go. And then the thing happens, the 50, and then it plays out, and then you're like, okay, I'll go for it, whatever, right? Whatever, you know, just play behind him. Play behind his 50, right? Let, let him solo okay. play, do the stupid yeah. shit. Now, I'm not saying you can't, you know, do what you said, which is come off to here, that's fine. You know, that could work, uh, depending on the... You just gotta time it better and not be so far behind him, because otherwise you're not positioned for it either way, so... Yeah, I would say like this could still work. Like this is this would be fine. Um, just um, you would you didn't really position in a way though that this could work. Like if you wanted mm -hmm. if you wanted to do it that way, like it could work. Just back here a bit more. Uh, let's go back, back, back. There we go. So if you wanted to do that, right, you need to have more faith in him right here. So here, instead of turning back behind him, you need you need to turn because again, he, what's gonna happen? Right is see blue again. So he's gonna push this way, right, with the ball, and then you. So as he pushes a circle like that, you're gonna push the other way, circle around, and then go to that spot I showed you when you, you know, around, gotcha. like that. You know. Yeah, I was, I was actually gonna ask you that same question if it makes a difference if I spin behind him or spin the other way. Yeah. So if you so, so if, yeah, you, if you spin if you spin this way, so if you spin this way around him like that. Then you're playing a bit safer. You're kind of just playing behind him. You know what I mean? Because he'll right. he'll move this way, but you're also moving with him, just you know more passively behind him. You know you're going slower, uh, that same direction. You know, so as he moves this way, you move with him, but just behind him. You know, so that's right. like, that's kind of like playing very safe, like uh, solo queue kind of thing I would do. 
Like, that's something I would do in solo queue, probably. You know, a lot. But, um, if you can trust... I mean, if you, if you have the ability to and positioning works, then it's okay to position off the side. Like, this, this is still fine, because if you go this way... Uh, and then he loses the 50, you know, assuming he's good, he's gonna have to get some decent 50 going, and then you can just turn back, you know, you can turn back up to here when you, when it, when, when it fails or something, you know, so it just, right. you gotta feel for it, right, you know, like, you, you can, you know, like I said, it's, it depends on how you want to play, either you want to play, like, a, a bit more trusting, and maybe position up here for the pass, or you want to play more, uh, behind them. Uh, and then just let them solo play in front of you, that sort of thing. So it really just depends. Right. Um, but yeah. So here, if you like, again, if you turn out this way, you know, down here, then and and out, then yeah, sure, maybe he could get get a pass to you because you would would have been, you know, like way over there. And then he, when, by the time he gets up here, he'd be like, okay, ball, and then arc it, you know, back out to here. You know, then that 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 passing play would work. But I can tell you right now, though, that this guy can't do that. I'm sorry. Like, he's not going to get a big big boy pass out off the wall here to you. They're not that good. So, yep. not yet, anyways. Someday. 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 <laughs> we'll get there. It's all right. So, yeah, like I said. So, here, I mean, it, this is fine. You know, I'm just telling you, like, for the 50, like, if you wanted to go for it, you know, you're, you're so far away at the minute from the time that this uh, point of contact happens that it kind of makes it, you know, gives you a little bit of a disadvantage. Because by the time that you want to go for it, like, look, that guy's already back on the ball. So if you're not, like, on that right. shit, like, immediately, then you're, you're going to get beat, you know? Right. So that's why I mentioned the behind the player thing, because if you follow more closely behind him in some degree, right, behind him, then you would have been closer by the time that that happened. Right, and then you might have been able to follow it up faster than him, but because you're playing so like uh, passive, I guess. Yeah. And from a far distance, then you you get disadvantage because he's closer, right? So he does the fifty, yeah, and then he, so he does two fifties. He does, excuse me, he does one here, one, and then he does another one, right? But because you're so far back, he's just gonna beat you, right? Right. Yep. And then that's gonna put your teammate in a little bit awkward spot, but you know, just something to think about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. Thank God. I don't know what she's barking at. Okay, I got her to quiet down. There we go. Uh, okay, what are they going on about? Okay, uh, right, so you're just playing for the passive, that's why you didn't get it. Right, so he's gonna, he's gonna do the 50, but he's gonna do it again. Um, so, un unless you're, like, good enough to somehow, like, you maybe, I don't know, cut the angle off here, so let me play this out a bit more. So unless you like somehow came out in front of him like this, um, like unless your car was like more up here, oh, I'm gonna do yellow, yellow, yellow. There we go. So if you're like more up here, like if your box is more up here ish, and you came down and did it like that, then you know just some some way you you block this angle because the way this is gonna have 50 out, he's gonna come here, you're gonna come here, like like that, you know. So this is like the curve and then what's going to happen is the the center of gravity is just going to shoot like you know way out behind you like like uh it's hard to draw angles like that from a 2d perspective but here like that that so it's just going to arc like way way back behind like that i don't know it's hard to draw a perspective yeah. but you know it's just going to go way out you know like towards the viewer like like that you know like 
way back there. So just the he's coming. So basically, his his center of gravity is gonna move more like on the wall side, whereas you you're just gonna you know basically pinch it up, right? So that just kind of makes like one of these scenarios, right? Where it does one of these types of things. Yeah. So you are at a complete disadvantage in terms of the fifty, right? Like you're not really actually covering the ball, really. Like you, you'll be covering it more if you were like where, like I said, the box was, and you're covering, you know, like this portion of the ball. You know, like if you're covering that bit of the ball, then then sure, then yeah, maybe you could block it. But otherwise, you're you're only hitting like this other side. You know, all this. You know. Yeah. Which is not which is not ideal. So this is why you lose a fifty. All right. Now I could get into 50-50 science, but you, it's pretty pretty straightforward, you know. You're, you're just not covering the ball, so it's just gonna go over you. Right. I kind of I kind of want to be opposite of where he's. Assuming it's a he, but that's probably a bad assumption. But assuming he hits the ball, um, being opposite of what that fifty is. Um, or being lower, kind of lower right of it, I guess, would yeah. pop it more Cause, cause, towards their end of the field. Because if I were to, like, let's say, let's try to, you know, see it through the ball, right? So, kind of like that, right? Now I can see it as a form, whatever, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, if he's hitting here-ish, let me, about, right? And then, if you go through the ball, not Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, not very fun. Try this again. But, you know, just something like that, right? And then whatever. Does that kind of make sense? Like, so if he's hitting it here, right, you, you would have you, you'd have to hit it about here, ish. If we're like looking at it like a, right. like like we're looking through the ball, you know. So if he's hitting it this side, you know, all of his force is gonna go same way the other way. So if we wanted to like 50-50 it properly. We have to match him, but you're, because you're not matching right. him, he's gonna go right past you, right? So that's why right. you kind of have to be on on this side of the ball more uh, for you to right. stop it. So I mean, again, yeah. I, I could go all day about you know fifty fifties, you know, but you know, if you don't know anything yeah. about fifty fifties, I'm, I'm sure you do. Just you know, if you want to get more technical about fifty fifties, and that's why you lose it. You know, math, math, math is why you lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Rocket League, Rocket League is a great game. Great game. <laughs> you know? Anyways. That's yeah, the oh shit moment. That's going directly towards my goal. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, your teammate plays it very well, though. Plays it very nicely. So, even though even though it was, like, a unfortunate... Like, that could have been bad, maybe. Like, maybe in a bit different lobby, but here... Uh, your teammate is back. He's rotating pretty nicely, so... Uh, he's able to cover that for you. Good teammate, good teammate. We give him, we give him five stars, right? For, be, for being solid. <laughs> all right, nice. Okay. Boom. Okay, so you're trying to rotate back. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to. Uh, this is like a nitpick, but if you if you think that this boost is free, right here, the um, this one right here. If you think it's free, then mm -hmm. you might not have to flip. Like, I'm, you just might not have to because you have some boosts left over. So, I'm only saying that because if you can, like, just drive into it and then just, and then just nick this hitbox right here, you know, like, just nick it right yeah. there and then turn immediately, then you might be a little bit faster. But otherwise, it's not a big deal. Just a nitpick. Like, hey, you know, it's something to think about. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, though, like, you're fine. Like, it's still good. Good, good, good. Did I? I did actually hit it. I did it with the flip, but I did actually hit it. No, you, you did hit it. I was just saying, if you drive over it and then turn, it might be might be faster. But otherwise, it's fine. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Because you're because you don't the let me back up here. Watch you mid flip. Okay, watch. So what's gonna happen is you only need like if this is a small tip, right? So the hitbox, I'm trying to envision it. It's like, oh lord, okay, something I don't know. Um, box, 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 box. You know, bad drawing, whatever, who cares? Right, whatever. Let's just imagine that's the hitbox, okay? So if you drive, like, on the ground, and you just drive and you just get to right, and you just nick it, 
right there, then you just pick it up, right? And then you can just immediately turn. Does that make sense? Yeah. But but the what, yeah. you're, what you're doing is you're going like all the way through the full hitbox, right? You're like, yeah, X-ray, X-ray, and then X-ray again, and then you're just going right all the way through it. You know, you don't have to do that though to pick it up. So that that's why I say that because yeah. if you just like get to right here, nick the hitbox, and just turn immediately, it's a bit faster. You know, if you can do it that way. Yeah. Because then you're not going all the, through the whole hitbox because it's not necessary. You know, you don't have to go through the whole thing for you to pick it up. You just need to nick it, you know, by the edge of the hitbox. So just just yep. something to think about. Like you could, so if you if you picked it up back there, you could have been turning already. You can here and then turn immediately on the ball. Right, because I'm mid air, I can't do anything, right. <laughs> but wait to land. Yeah. So just so that little tip right there, it's really small, but it can make you faster, right? Because you pick it up. But you don't pick up, like, you don't go through the whole hitbox because it's not necessary. You just need that little bit. You just need to nick it, and then you can turn immediately. So it's going to allow you to just yep. be on the ball faster if you do it that way. Here, okay, this is good. Uh, let's see how this plays out. I think I totally whiff it, but let's see. Uh, yeah, dude. man. I'm forged, man. I'm forged. Yeah, so here... Your teammate definitely isn't helping you out here because he's kind of making it awkward. He's like, oh yeah, I'm right there. But, he, you know, he, he makes it look like he's going to go for it, but he just doesn't, you know? So, like, here he's pushing up the ball, but then he never aer aerials for it. So then you, you're like, oh, I want to come in. But then you're like, iffy if you should go because he, he's making it look like he wants to go, right? Because he's pointing at the ball. Right. So it makes it very, very awkward. Um, so I can understand like why you'd hesitate a little bit here on the ball because it's like he's right there He's like whoa, 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 wait, is he gonna go? Is he not? Like, I don't know, right? Right, so, right. So, yeah. so I would definitely understand why why this is a bit awkward right now Why you might go for it, why you might not go for it immediately um, That sort of thing, I get that Cause It's like, okay, he might go for that, he might not Okay, you're like, okay, wait, he's not going, right? All right, and then here, like, you were in a, you were in a good position to go for it It was just, it was just, um, we're... We need, there's some technique that we're, um, we need to work on here. So here, what you need to understand is that, did you even double jump arrow or did you single jump? Oh, you just single jump. I do single. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, so let's just forget Grizzly. All right, let's just forget the awkwardness of that, okay? So if you're going to go for something like this, okay? Uh, your technique, like, again, you were in, you were in a, a check mark of a spot right now to go for this, like this. Right here, you know, this ball, draw, like, this is good. This angle, this ev everything, good, perfect, right? It's all perfect, it's all lined up. It's just execution at this point. So, what you need to understand is that when you go up for the ball, like this, right, look. So this is the thing that people uh, don't understand about fast aerials sometimes, is that if you fast aerial, right, when you choose the fast aerial, that's the angle you get, all right? Like, really fast, you can really only fast aerial in like a straight line. Okay, mm -hmm. so at the minute, you know, if you wanted to fast arrow for this, you know, your car would have to turn a bit more. Like right now, if you're fast Later. arrow, you're you're gonna go up and like that. You're gonna you're gonna completely miss. You know. Right. So if you, so really all you need to do here is just bef when you you have to line up better. You just have to line up the fi uh, not the fifty, but the you have to line up the the yeah, fast arrow better. Yeah. So, it, because you're not directly facing the ball, like, one-to-one, -one, that type of thing. So, like, you know, like a laser beam, like that, right? So, you're pointing out this way, but you need to be pointed, you know, with the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if you're pointing with the ball, yeah. when you did your fast arrow, which, I mean, you, you didn't even do a fast arrow. You did a single jump. Uh, I really, uh, And that's another thing. I'll get to that here in a sec. Um, about if you should fast arrow or single jump. Uh, to a ball, which is actually something that's hard to explain, but I'll get to it. Right. So for number one, your fast aerial technique is a little bit off because you're not pointed at, you're not actually pointed at the ball before you go for it, right? So mm -hmm. your car is just right now it's it's just pointed not at the ball. So when you go to fast aerial, what's going to happen is you're going to go where your car is pointing, not where. So you think, oh, I need to go here, right. right? That's what that's what's in your head. You're like, oh, I need to go here, right? But because you fast aerial. Right? What's gonna happen is because you weren't pointed the ball properly. Uh, kind of clear that. Clear. There we go. 
right? What's gonna happen is you want to you want to go there, right? I know you do, but what's gonna happen is because of the way your car is pointed, you're gonna go here. See? So yeah. So, yep. you, so if you're able to line up your if you're able to line up your car better and like more on 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 the on with the ball uh, before you jump, then the better success you're gonna have with the double jump arrow. Okay. Does that make sense? So if you're, able to, if you're able to like not yeah. turn off of it and then jump, right, then then you'll be in good shape, right? Just gotta make sure that when you if you're gonna go for it, you gotta be pointing at the ball. You have to, otherwise you're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna whiff it because it's you know, like I said, yeah. like you, you like maybe did. like maybe in your head you think you can like change course mid mid fast arrow, but it just doesn't work, all right? It just doesn't. So right. just something about all right, and then the other thing I was getting at that's like hard to explain is. Okay, should you double jump arrow for this or should you single jump for this, right? That's the big question, all right? So for me, um, this could be both. And the reason I say that is because number one, um, this is a high bounce, but not so high that you would have to double jump for it. Like you could, assuming you have good enough aerial capabilities and, and timing, mm -hmm. um, you could, in theory, jump up here you know, hold your hold your jump button, boost up, and then hold it into a flip. In theory, but that's actually a lot harder in execution right. uh, than it sounds. Uh, if that makes sense, so you could very well uh, single jump here. So like here, it'd be a single jump, and then hold hold the flip, and and then hold the the jump, the second jump, into a flip, right, and then shoot. Um, granted, that's not very easy. Um, I can show you what that looks like later, but you know what I mean. But you know that is an option. Could you also double? Could you also fast arrow here? I think also that could work. It, but uh, that uh, that also would mean though you'd have to like fast arrow, but then fast arrow in a way that like would shoot it on net kind of fast, you know, which is hard because if you want yeah. to if you want to fast arrow for this, you would double jump, and then basically what you have to do is when you get there, let me see if I can push this forward a bit. Uh, nope. nope. Hold on. Okay, right there. Okay, so this is good. So. If we were gonna fast arrow for it, you know, fast arrow technique it, then you'd have to like hit it so that you hit it above the the middle, right? You have to hit somewhere up here so that when you you know touch this area, it'll go down. It'll go down into the net. Yeah. You know, but that takes yeah. a, that takes a lot of precision. Like it takes a lot of precision. Yeah. Uh, and aerial ability to do that. So I mean the aerial is not that far away, but the technique to put it in is, is a bit more um, complicated, I guess. So yeah. So basically, uh, I don't have Rocky open right now, but you know, basically, you know, the th the idea here is that either one, you single jump once, so one jump right here, come up, right? So come up, and then by the time you get that second jump, you know, you're gonna use it to, you know, to hit it right here and then slam it down. In theory, you know, but it's just it's in execution though it's a lot harder than I make it look or sound. So that or you or that or you just you know beeline for the ball, just double jump arrow for it, and then just make sure that you hit like up here so that it comes down. Right. That, that's basically your only two and options. I'll, yeah, and I, I honestly haven't been practicing the speed aerial, fast aerials all that much. Mm -hmm. um, what I have been practicing is more this single jump aerial and then a, a dodge right after this. So had I been lined up right, I probably would have done a single jump aerial and then a, what would I have done? A top, probably a top left dodge to try to hit it down and into the net there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of the joystick, you know, like where it would be. Yeah, you'd be but I just totally... Yeah, it's push it way off to the side there. <laughs> yeah, it kind of would have been like one of these. You're like, what have got to about eh, maybe like here ish and flip it down. I don't know. It's just, whatever. You get the point though. It's at that point you the positioning was great. The positioning was perfect, right? Like where you were in the field and and your positioning was good. It was good. 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 It was good. It was just the execution that we're missing. That's all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fine. Um, literally you just practice those more and you'll hit them i promise so like i said your positioning yeah perfect it was fine you know like good good position to go for the ball for from that position you know what i mean like back here right like it was fine you know try to play it one right i mean you're, you're lined up you're good right like try and play it again 
turn on the ball. Like, I mean, look, it's free money. It's free. You know, it's right there. It, it, you know, you're good. You're good to go. It's just, it just, it's just practice. That's it. All right. Otherwise, you're fine. All right. You'll, you'll hit, yeah. you'll hit next time. It's all good. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, we're going around. Good rotation. Okay, a little bit early cut. I think here, uh, just just from my experience, um, right here. So let's just let's just be real here, right? You have a teammate. You have a teammate. <laughs> if you want to call it that, right? Not he's your teammate, but you know, but he's got look, look. So you don't need to turn right now, and the reason for that is because he, this player, should have like almost all this covered. This, 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 and that, and that, and some of this. All right, you don't, you don't need to be here, over here. You know, there's no reason because he's already over here. So if you need to challenge early, you know. Right, you can do that, but like here, it wouldn't make sense because if you challenge right now and you get dusted, right? So if you turn on this, right, and then right about here, the ball goes over your head and you get dusted, you know, or around you. Sorry, excuse me. Around you, this way, you know, just anywhere around you, you know, gets 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 around you, right? And this guy hasn't rotated all the way back yet, so if he's like still, you know, if he's still mid rotation. And then, he, you know, you get beat right right about the time he gets there. So if, if you get to here and get beat, and he's only about here in rotation when you get beat, then guess what? It's a, it's a free net. All this is free. Free, 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 free. Right? And that's open. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So if he's already here, right, on, on your left, right, you don't need to you don't need to turn there. He can he can challenge whenever he wants, right? And, and more especially so if he gets some boost, right? So here... Uh, if he goes and gets the boost right here in the middle, over there, over here, you know, that one, then he, then he's going to get boost, right? He's going to get boost. Okay. He's going to get the boost over there and then he can turn once he gets the boost whenever he wants and turn back in the ball and challenge, you know, right? He can do whatever he wants at that point. So you don't really like basically the whole field down here. So from, so basically all the field down, down that way and, and on, you know, or grid that like this whole thing he's, he's got it covered you don't need to be there you know so what you should do is just shadow defend like you would i guess um but like just just play your strength which is um you know back back over here around around and just go back post you know like you don't this guy this guy can turn back in like i said whenever he wants right so just knowing that you can just kind of play passive here in the back like down here or over yeah. there, whatever, right? But you don't need to be over here because he's already got it covered, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not to mention he's, like, barely just started rotation. So if you turn right now and you get dusted now, then there's there's no defender, you know? Like, it's over. So, like, we need some, we yeah. need somebody back, right? So in this case, it mm -hmm. you know, both both of you need, both of you need to get back. Like, both of you are going to head back now because this guy's got a dribble, right? So both of you are going to go back, right? And then... You know, but like I said, because he's already covering this whole area, he can turn. He can turn for you. You don't have to. You don't have to turn for him. You know, you can just play back here, and then if you find an opportunity to challenge, then do it. But if, if not, your teammate can can come back in, turn around and cover you. You know, because you can go back post. You know, down here or whatever, and and just go down there, and come behind him. You know, it's fine. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Yeah, just another big concept is just like coverage, right? Because once you get into, you know, the game more, just the, the technicals, I guess, right? You know, your teammate covers more more of the field than you think. In this case, it's the whole right side to you, or left, sorry, left side for you, but right side of my screen. So if you, if, like I said, if you get dusted right now, then there's no defender. But you know, good try. And now, oh, see, this is this wasn't even worth it, and the reason was because now it leaves him in a two v one. Watch. Okay, you're gonna turn on this when you really don't need to, right? You're on a 50, right? And look what happens. So now you've been completely taken out of the play. 
Like you you you're not you you're not even relevant anymore now because you're just taking yourself out. So your opponent has succeeded in baiting you. He's baited you into 50. You've gone for the 50. You failed the 50, and now you're low boost and and you can't get back, right? So now what's going to happen is you're going to scramble to get back and try and help your teammate, but you're not going to be able to do anything. You're you're powerless because you have no you're out of position, right? You you've gone dusted completely. So now your teammate's just stuck in a 2v1 now, right? Which is really, really bad. Like, this is basically a, a scoring opportunity almost every time for your for your opponents, okay? So we're right here, right? So there was no need to challenge. There, there was really no threat to challenge, right? This is a point, like, this challenge gives you no benefits, right? Because if you see, like, again, you can challenge here. You can, but why? You're not going to get anything out of it. So it even okay, you know what? Even if you're not turning on it, okay. There's a there's a thing in Rocket League where it's like you, you can go, but why? What, 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 you know what do you, what do you get out of that? You know, so watch, watch, watch. Okay, boom here. Okay, let's 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 all right. Do 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 thing. All right. Okay, so let's be real here, guys. Here you're here. He's close to the ball. You're not. So what's gonna happen? He's going to do something. He's going to push it around you, that way, around you, around this way, up over your head. You know, there's just too many too many possibilities for him to get get it past you here, right? Okay. So, you got to like be real with yourself and be like, "Okay, I'm at a complete disadvantage right now." Like if I were to go on this, right? Like, look, he he there's so many different ways he could cut that cut that behind you. Cut it behind you. You know, gets a 50 and wins a 50. You know, there's just too too many too many ways you could lose this. All right, you're 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 playing a 99 to one game where this guy's 99 and you're one. You're not winning. You know, yep. so if if you if you can identify that, where you're like, wow, this guy has possession and I don't, and if I go for this right now, he's gonna ball me, right? If you can just you know internalize that in the moment. So what you can do mm -hmm. is be like, okay. I'm not gonna win it if I go for this and, bar and barrel towards him, right? He's probably gonna get around me. So, all you gotta do, right, if you want, is we gotta start incorporating what's called a fake challenge, all right? More, you gotta incorporate these more. I'm sure you know what they are, but mm -hmm. you know, you have to incorporate them yeah. more in your gameplay because here, right, we have two options. Either you can, you know, full blast, you know, double jump twice and then get dusted, you know, and be like, oh God, don't, and then you land over here and then you're like, oh, two v one, right? You can do that or, you can fake challenge, okay? Get to here. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, just kidding. Just just kidding. No, I wasn't actually gonna go for that, right? But then, you know, that's great because, you know, if you turn up here and then swerve back, right? He's gonna get to here. He's gonna like, oh, oh, I thought he was gonna go for it. And then, you know, either pushes out to you in the middle, he flicks it up towards you. It's, it's basically just getting to throw the ball away, right? And then either yeah. you, yeah. either you, get a free ball or your teammate gets a free ball so you so you turn up here and then by the time you turn back he's like oh no i was gonna hit it and then hits it right and then it goes right right to your teammate right you can just come back in and pick it up right so that's that's the whole purpose yeah. of fake challenges fake challenges allow you to number one not full commit to a ball that you know you're getting dusted to right so that you don't look like a fucking idiot not, not that you are one. I would never say that, but, you know. I looked like one here, so I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, like, so avoid that, number one. And then number two, it acts as a way to, like, um, give, let, uh, it makes the opponents give a possession, right? And give it back to you. Because uh, they panic and they think, oh, God, I thought he was going to, I thought he was going to hit me, right? Or, or go for a 50. And so then they end up panicking and then hit the ball away and then it's free ball, right? So it, acts as, so it does multiple things, right? And I just explained the two of them, which is number one, not full commit you so that you don't like, you know, full send it and then regret it later. And then number two, you can get a free possession because you'll make him you'll make him panic and then he'll throw it away and give it back to your team who can then pick it up, dribble it, and then do the loop de floop do stupid shit into the net. All right, cool, whatever, all right? Okay, anyways, so learn, learn to fake challenge, right? And like I said, all you have to do is just Turn up a bit, and then turn, swerve back, swerve, 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 back behind. There you go. See, so we get to about. Uh, let me explain it better. So here, bang, and then right about here, right. He's got the ball dribble, right. You just get to about there, and then you, and then you swerve, right, because the ball's here. Oh, got drunk. There we go. Ball, right. You get to about here. Yada yada. Swerve, swerve, right. So you can not challenge, and then 
Because, again, you're trying to close the gap here to make him think you're going to go, but then you just immediately turn back once you reach that threshold, right? Which is about, like, you know, in my fair judgment, about here, you know, on the field. It's about here, yada, yada, turn back. Turn back. Wah, like that, you know? Perfect. Win. You win. Just better. Okay. Right? See? And then we wouldn't have this situation. So now, because we don't fake challenge, and we full commit to a ball that we don't can't win, right? Then now our teammates in a 2v1. Two players, one, one, you know, two opponents, one player, or one teammate, whatever, right? So in a higher level lobby, this is this is a detriment. This is horrible, right? This is going to get you scored on. But because this is a lower lobby, they suck, and they can't do shit. They can't capitalize on anything, so they're just going to suck. And then give it back to your teammate, so whatever. Um... Right, so just, just, I mean, yes, you don't get punished for the mistake, but it doesn't excuse it, you know? Because So all because you don't get punished for the mistake doesn't mean it, it, it's not a mistake. It is a mistake. It's just, you know, the, these players aren't good enough to capitalize on your mistakes yet, you know? They will be eventually, but for now, they're, they're going to suck. All right, so just, just learning to incorporate those fake challenges is really going to help you. Um, so you're not like full committing to a ball that you know you can't win, you know. All right. So I'm gonna pause my recording here and restart it, because OBS tends to crash um, if I record for like longer than an hour, and then it's it's start. Okay. Cool. All right, anyways. Okay, where are we at? Okay, rotate into back post. Oh, you're a little antsy. That's fair though. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I would just say like when you. Okay, number one, hold on. Uh. All right, so this is what I see a lot. Okay, okay. Okay, so you've gotten dusted. All right, that's fine. We're gonna just work with it now. Okay. Um. So what I need you to do is if you're gonna if you're gonna go back, right, which is fine right like this right um try like yeah you, you could flip here but like i really would like it if you get some pads right so this is what i tell people all the time which is that the, they have like a flipping problem where like they'll flip in the middle of the field but then they won't pick up any pads right so they'll you know they'll flip so like they get to here you know flip and then flip again right but then they they don't have like a a path that um picks up any pads right so you're just gonna miss it all right no pads at all you know if that, does that make sense like you're gonna choose a line but then that line won't have any boost pads if that makes sense yeah so what what, yeah. what, what would be nicer here is if you could like make it so that you flip kind of like more like over here a bit and then then you can like curve in with the the boost pad lane right so it's gonna go here and then there's some boost pads. Uh, I can barely see them because of the quality of the video, but um, I can try and highlight them, like, like here, here, maybe another one over here somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? So you can kind of like just right. start your flip over in that direction. Because I mean, right now you are a bit like he, your teammate did get a clear, so it's kind of like you can take a longer route, which is fine, so that you can get some more boost, right? So it just nice. It would just be nicer if we could start that flip direction more towards the pad lane, kind of, you know, like that, and then move through the pads. So you know, 12, yep. 24, 36, and then we can rotate into back post, right? And then X marks the spot. Versus if we just go straight there, right? And then we have, like, then we get no no boost pickup, right? Versus, like, maybe, like, 36 pickup over here, you know? Right, right. So. Yeah. And should, should uh, I know I do a lot of flipping, but I also see a lot of people do more barrel rolls across the field than, than forward flips or, or, or yeah. diagonal flips. Yeah, Should yeah, I yeah. try to get more in the habit of doing that instead? Uh, if you have the technical ability to, then it, it definitely helps because um, the let me clear this off again. Hold on. So yeah, the, the the really good benefit of of that is so I'm trying to illustrate it here. So when you do a front flip, um, it's kind of how I got how I put it. It's just, I mean, it's inefficient. The reason it's inefficient is because um, I don't know. It's the, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, downwards. Yeah, I don't know the physics of all of it uh, necessarily, but you know, I, I would just say the weight of your car, like there's more weight to that flip, um, if you want to call it that, I guess. And yeah, 
Um, it's a longer, not, I don't know if it's a longer animation, but like, just, just something about your car being pointed down. Like, I, oh, okay, if I were to imagine like an arc. So let's see if I'm good at drawing. Uh, ooh, whoa, God, okay. Wait, no, hold on. Just one, one. I'm a good drawer, guys, I promise. There we go, hold on. L <laughs> little curve, wait, come on. Okay, not not perfect, but we'll, we'll take it, okay? So if your car does one of these, right, it's kind of, I, I think it's longer, it's just a longer uh, motion. So if your car does, I mean, this is like the motion of what your car is doing, right? It's like a, you know, mm -hmm. car, car was like starting here. It's like the nose of your car or something, right? Or I don't know. God, I'm really bad drawing boxes, whatever. So it does one of these, right? And then it's just, it's just a longer animation. Like it just, you don't get on the ground quite as fast. Not quite, it's not quite as beeline, right? So straight line, like it's not bad, you know, but it's like this big long arc. Like it, look how long it is, you know, it's just a big long arc, you know, that you're doing. But if you do it the other way, uh, how's my illustration skills? Is it good? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> you're doing great, keep it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then if it, if, but if you do it this way where you, um, like do the spinning, not the spin, but the barrel roll, um, your so say, so like I said, instead of the big arc like that, you know, you kind of just beeline a bit more. Like it's just, it's just a bit more, uh, direct, I guess. So, so instead of using, you know, all of your car to flip, like it only uses like so much of it. So we're, it'd be like that ish. It'd be more like. It would just go directly in a diagonal like that, you know, uh, just, yeah. you know, there's not even really an arc really. It's just kind of like, you just go right there. You know, there's no arc, you know, ver so, cause like it, so the arc is just slow, right? Big, long arc is just big and slow versus this where it's just direct. Like you just go, you know, cut through the, I don't know what I meant. You just cut through the middle, like this, this center mass of your car, a force, right? And you just go like directly to where you're, where X marks the spot right there, right? You just go right there, and there's no big arc involved, so that's why it's faster, right? You just you just move like that. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. So that's why it's faster and better usually, to, if you want to do it that way, to do use those uh, barrel rolls, um, right? Because it's not that big long arc, which is super duper slow, and takes yep. takes longer to perform and has more air drag or something. I don't know the physics of it, but you know you get the point. So yeah, so if you can learn those side flips or barrel rolls per se, um, right, then that can that can really help you um, speed up your rotations and then just also help you pick up pads and stuff, right? Because I mean, I mean, not that the flip itself that you're doing is bad. It's just that you're going like directly back and you're not picking up any pads. So you know, yeah, you're just missing all of these. Like no pad there, no pad there, no pad there. You're just missing all of it. You're just going straight back. No boost pickup, you know. But you have time. Like the ball is arcing over here. There's no no threat, you know. You you have time to pick these up. You just need to, you know, uh, prioritize it. Does that make sense? You just have to, you know, yep. think about it. All right, all right. Turn my light on because it's getting a little dark. Okay. All right. So. Like I said, there, there's time to get pads. You're just not, you know, you just, you're flipping past them all and you're not like thinking about picking them up. So here you're, you're mm -hmm. kind of thinking like, okay, I just want to get back now. Not necessarily, oh, I should go get some pads and then get back, you know? Like you're just not, there's no, yeah. there's no line thought in your head right now. Like, okay, I could put over here and then go, to the, you know, whatever. But I'm just trying to show you that so you're more aware. They have higher game awareness mm -hmm. and then that's going to benefit you later, especially in higher lobbies because you're gonna have more boost on the way back and then you're gonna have more to, you know boost boost is just king in this game if you have boost then you can do more you know that's just how it is yeah. so yeah don't want to miss any opportunities really to get boost if there is any you know otherwise uh pretty well done um got back here went around our teammate gave him some good space nice all right and then i would just say right about here if you so Maybe you don't have the game sense for this right now, or maybe in, in the moment, but uh, your teammate's already pretty much pointed at the ball right now. Like, he's already looking at it, so you could probably assume a little bit that he's probably going to go up and hit it, you know? Which means that if he goes and hits it right about here, that's just going to arc. 
and then it's like a free push, you know. So right now we're being a little bit hesitant about our teammate uh, and his next touch, but, you know. Basically, this is the same issue we had before, like the exact same one, where it's like, okay, you know, you're falling behind him a little bit, but like you're not like falling very close. So like by the time that a 50 happens up here, right? So like right up around here, you know, and, it, and then it happens, you're gonna be way, way back here when it happens. Does that make sense? So then yeah. you're, not, you're not gonna be able to follow up on it because there's this big, big distance uh, between you, yeah. you and him. You know. Yeah. I mean, on this one, at this point, I probably I don't have much confidence that he and he doesn't go up for an aerial. But on other teammates that I've had, they'd probably go up for an aerial on this mm -hmm. a little bit more. Um, and I just don't. Given what happened in just the last play, I probably don't have confidence, and I'm trying to play the net more so than backing up the teammate. Yeah. I understand. I, I could I could see the logic of it, you know, like the what how you know. I get it. Like I, I could I could hundred percent understand why you would play more passive. I mean especially this rank. I'm not this rank, you know, I haven't been this rank in forever, but yeah. you, know, you know, but like I mean I just just I mean I'm just telling you how I see it, like how I'm I'm visioning it from playing this game too long, but like if he's pointed the ball and they're not challenging him you know, like, he's super close to this. Like, he's probably going to be able to beat them to that, you know? So it's probably okay to push up here. But that, obviously, it's easier said than done. I can say that all day, all day, every day. But, you know, that doesn't mean that makes it easier, you know? So. Yeah. Like, like he's, he's got so much space. Like, they gave him all that space. Like, after the bounce here, like, watch. Like, it bounces down, but then they're both, like, like, Surge isn't even challenging him. Like, they're both, they're both being little, little, little bees back there they're 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 wuss yep. they're wusses like they're not even challenging that so that's why i'm saying it's it's safe because these guys aren't even challenging bro like look how far away they right, are right like, right like they're, 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 it's, yep. li it's literally literally for your teammate no contest actually no contest for your teammate like look they're giving him all that space so that's that's why i say that that's just why you know just like li yeah literally li yeah, right here, yeah. literally getting a free touch right now so like Whatever you do, you probably won't fuck up that bad because it's like literally you just push up a bit. Like you can probably trust you can hit that because they're literally giving him no contest. So, granted, it, it, this yep. is all stuff that happens really fast in the moment. So I'm not like blaming you for that. I'm just you know we're looking. This is why replays are yep. great. This is why replays are king because yeah. you, can, you can actually think about what happens and look at where everyone is. You know, versus when you're in the moment, you're like, oh god, uh, I don't know what I should do, right? But replays allow you to freeze time and focus on the things that are actually important not like the in the moment stuff like oh wait i gotta get back and i gotta get pick up boost and oh no there's the ball and do the thing you know right replays are great for that because replays allow you to you know to freeze frame and like you know get out of that in the moment thing you know that you're in and be able to focus better mm -hmm. that's why i like replays but whatever all right gets it forward all right we're really not trusting our teammate this game my god <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, he definitely gets a big hit, so he's pro Surge is probably gonna hit this too. So I'd say it's not bad. It's just boom. You know, I, I kind of can see it. that guy going up for the aerial too, which is why I probably swing back there instead of approaching. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll take this to be honest. Like here, he basically tosses it, so like maybe play a bit more safe. I think makes sense. If I'm being honest, like, because he could obviously follow that up, and, you know, if you're too close, he'll get over you. So, I'll, I'll take this. This is good. Right, and then you can play that nicely. Oh, no. No. We're so yeah, close. I could have caught that. It's all good, man. We're just here to learn, so it's fine. So, yeah, see, so he's going to hit it away. Okay. And then guess what Surge is going to do? He's going to hit it away. And then guess what you're going to do? I'm going to hit it you're away. You're going to hit it away. Yeah. Wow. Wow, crazy. Wow, it's like we're playing tennis, right? I don't know what you're talking about. That was a pass directly to my teammate. That was beautiful. <laughs> Your boy wasn't ready. Oh, man. <laughs> Calculated. Calculated. like this. <laughs> I mean, actually, in theory, that's actually going to work out as fast, but... If you... Yeah, no, no, no. If he was there, if he was actually, like, not flipping mid through, then, that, yeah, that could have worked as fast, but... All right, so I mean, I'm that works. Like that, that actually could work. Like if I'm being real, like that actually, you know, 
if you, if you were sniping your teammate there, like, that was actually a pretty good pass. But since he's, you know, a diamond and he's not really... He's rotating, yeah. He's not ready for it. So, I mean, this is good. Like, that could be good. That could be very good, you know? Like, the pass, like, that was decent, you know? For a pass anyways, but he's just, yeah. not, he's just not ready. So... Let's just let's just say though that that wasn't intentional, which I don't think it was, but you know whatever, right? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the, just just um. You if know. I caught it, I would have had a one on one with that guy right in front of me. Yeah, so we can just learn, you know, to uh, just catch the ball, I guess. So here, soft touch, soft catch, got it. Got to just do what I was talking about earlier, which is just it's gonna come down. Come down, and the ball, you know, it's gonna land off the surface, but we gotta make sure that it doesn't bounce, right? We can't let it bounce. So, you know, scenario number one, where we don't do it correctly, it comes down, but then we miss the bounce, and then it just comes right back up, right? And then we miss the opportunity. But if we can catch it right on the floor, and then use our the side of our car to, to coast it down to the ground uh, to some degree, or even just the front of our car, you know? And just catch in the bottom, yeah. it's gonna give you big benefits because you're gonna be able to keep that ball close again, and then you're gonna have the, a, a good 50 opportunity. Like, you're gonna have you're gonna be able to 50, yeah. cut him, like, you know, you're, you're gonna have possession, and you're gonna have a lot of space, yeah. right? Because if you can use all the space that's in front of you, you know, then you're, you're gonna be able to outplay him better, you know? So, if you're able to, yeah. so if you're able to practice those catches, which I'll show you something you could do at the end of this, how you could work on your catches, right? Then you can. Because, like, look, 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 God, God, you have so much space, so much, look, it's all space, yeah. but we're just giving it up, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, this is why learning those catches in twos and even ones sometimes is, uh, really helpful. Yeah. Otherwise, though, uh, in, in a different universe, you pass that, and, and Sergeant Grizzly puts a banger on it, so, whatever. Okay, and that was decent, um... Yeah, I saw him hesitate, so I went for it, and then he boosted out of that and beat me to it, mm. unfortunately. But yeah, so I'd say like here, just because, um, just because. Um, and I knew he was rotating back, so I didn't need to rotate back yet again, or we'd both be all the way down the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, just about here, like. Unfortunately, we throw the ball away a bit, so they're probably gonna get to the ball before you. Uh, if this were a higher level lobby, they would have been on that shit immediately. You would you would have been beat like yeah. it's nobody's business to that because you gave it right back to them. You know, um, but yeah. here, get to about here, and then because of just the passiveness of this, like if we were maybe a bit more aggro, then yeah, maybe you could have won it, won it. But because we were being passive. You were, you were being like equally passive as as your opponent. Like you guys were both. Yeah. Like you guys both decided to go on at the same time. So how do you decide yeah. to go any any faster than him and earlier? Then you want to beat him to it. But because you guys both like right. hes hesitated for the same amount of time, that means you get there. You got you got to the ball at about the same time. You're like because both of you did the same thing. You're like oh, wait, watching, 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 and then you guys both literally boosted at the same exact time. Like you guys, yeah. you guys were yeah. you guys were basically in sync. So. Yeah, but if he you, was just slightly closer and wins it. Mm -hmm. So if you were, if you just even like had the slightest bit more confidence and went a little bit and went a little bit sooner than he did, then you would have beat him to it. But because you guys both are on the same wavelength for some reason, just you know, whatever you guys are like, oh wait, we should both go. Oh wait, you know, and then you get one of those. Uh, I mean, this fifty isn't that bad. Like, you know, is it is either this or don't go at all and let him hit it back to your teammate. I mean, again, because. There's, there's two options here. Either you commit to this, and then you take a 50, but uh, your, your, your pros and your cons aren't matching. Like, you're getting more cons than you are pros for going for this, really. Like, yeah. like not only are you probably going to get beat now, because you went too slow, but you're also, like, even if you won the 50, like, it wasn't going to go anywhere. Not anywhere productive right. anyways. So, this is where, like, if you, if you fake challenge here, like, if you don't actually go... So if you go, uh, do do do, right? If you go up here, make it look like you're gonna go up to here, and then you just turn off and then go that way. What's gonna happen is he's gonna get here. Go 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 go. The ball's about here. Oh God. Okay, there we go. Right, he gets about here, and then by the time you get to about here, he's gonna be here, right? And then 
he's gonna think, oh, he's gonna hit it, right? So he's gonna panic, right? Because you, you're challenging, you're making, you're closing that gap, you're making him think you're gonna go for it. But then what's gonna happen is he's gonna hit it. You're not gonna actually challenge. You're gonna be back here now. So by the time that you're here, the ball is gonna move back around here because he's gonna he's gonna panic. And yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna hit it around the sidewall, right? And then get and then guess what? Mm -hmm. That's gonna play right down to your teammate behind you. You know, teammate back here you know whatever stupid yeah yeah that's yeah saying. that's a good point so it's literally just gonna play right back to your teammate if you can you know fake challenge and get him to throw it away so that might be more beneficial that, so that might be more beneficial than going for 50 here in the wall right which no matter how you challenge this this is not gonna work like sure it could pinch out yeah. that way but it'll probably mm -hmm. go to this guy it could pinch up right. but like the likeliness of that happening is pretty low because this guy's already on it like you know, your your cons are the the cons are outweighing the pros right now. So, like, yeah, I'm with you. So I, think, I, actually, I actually have never once fake challenged, so it's a that's a really good thing for me to take back and figure out how to how I do that more. Yeah, it's it's like a slightly more advanced concept, but like it's not so advanced that you couldn't start incorporating it right now. Like you know. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, I've I've heard of it before. I don't know why I've never tried it. Uh -huh. Um, this, this is really good. So, yeah, so, you know, and, and these times you're like, yeah, you, th you know, maybe right now you think, oh yeah, just, just full challenge everything, you know, just, you know, full, full blaze it, you know, never look back, you know, uh, cool guys, right. cool guys don't look at explosions type of shit, but no, like, it's okay to like not actually, <laughs> like, it's okay to not go for the ball sometimes, you know, and just, just make it, you know, fake it, you know, fake the challenge. Yeah. Make him throw it away. So then you get maybe free possession. You know what I mean? Because again, like I said, possession two is key. So if you can get them to throw the ball away and give it to you, and you get possession all game, then you're going to win. More than likely, you know? Yep. Yeah, so just... We're, we're upgrading. We're upgrading from full challenge everything to, okay, maybe sometimes I'll full challenge, sometimes I'll, I'll fake challenge because it helps, you know? Right. Yep. So, I mean, that does actually nicely apply to your teammate. Your teammate, oh, he, he wussed it out. He was, he was. He, like, turned towards it, and then he turned back off of it. But regardless, it's still his ball, though, so just leave it to him. Alright. I'm gonna see him turn off so I go wider. Yeah, that's decent. Then he goes for it. That's good. Boom. Right, yeah, I would just, you know... Make sure that you're going taking that wide route, because right now you're cutting like directly back. But if you just come more in like an yeah. arc like that around him, that'd be better. In my opinion, you can cover more of the field. Yeah, yeah. It just helps, because like, because mm -hmm. if I I haven't said before, right? Teammate here, right? Well, guess what he's covering? He's covering this, this. Okay, let's just make a whole wall. Boop. Right? He's covering all of this. All of it, right? Right? So, well, he can cover all this area, right? You can cover, you know, the rest, which is over here. You know, boom. That's all you. You know what I mean? All right. So, all right. so this is where this is where teammate coverage, like, comes into play here, right? Because you don't, you and yeah. him, you and him don't need to cover the same area. He's already got this whole, whole thing x-rayed, you know? Like, if I were to, like, give him, like, a beam of light or some shit, I don't even know, right? This is him. He's got a beam of light going, you know, X-ray through the whole map or something, you know. Beam of light, beam of light, you know, just covering the whole thing. Like, all of it, you know. Like, you can't see that. Like, it's not in, you know, there's no X-ray in the game showing you that. But that that's the reality of, like, what he's actually covering. He's covering all this yellow right here. All this. And then you can cover the rest, you know, back here. Does that make sense? And that, and that, and that even, I don't, and, you know, I don't say it, but it, that even includes the air. Even up here. Like, literally, this beam of light was, like, God or something. I don't even know, right? Just bang, 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 bang. He's just covering all of this stuff, even in the height. You know, the, the ground, the height, everywhere. You know, he's covering this whole thing. Alright, this screen looks like an actual fucking mess, so, you know, whatever. Right, so this, this is where teammate cover it. Like, this is where just, ball, like coverage I don't, I don't know how else to color how to call it but you know he's covering the ball like all this area you know it's good we're good yeah, i hear you i hear you so like 
I, yeah, I'm telling you to do that, you know, that tip, but, like, that's why. It's because he's covering the ball for you, you know. Good. Okay. So, yeah, you can just rush it a little bit wider, but otherwise it's fine. Nice, good. Turn. Oh, uh, no. Okay, it's okay. So, if you're, if you're boy... Okay. It's alright. I'm not mad at you. I'm just... Sorry, yeah, whatever. Okay, so, your boy gets a hit. Gets a good one. Like, like if you know he's gonna hit it, which he is, right? And he gets a push started. Like, don't wuss out. Like, like make it, make, make, yeah. make use of his touch, right? Make use of the fact mm -hmm. that that he's pushing it up right now, right? So if he's not being a wuss about pushing it up, you shouldn't either, you know? Like, yeah, you know what I mean. So here, like, big hit, big big hit. Like that's good, you know? Like, yeah. So I mean, unless you're like. So unless you're like doubly, doubly confident that this guy, you know, right here is about to like bounce shot this like over your head, you know, then this is no like this is no no worries, you know, like we can push up with this, you know, this is, this is usable, you know what I mean? So like he doesn't. Yeah. So when he gets a big hit like that towards our net, granted he could have got a better hit and not give it right back to him, but you know, like this is usable. So like you know don't like if he's gonna push up, right? You can push up too, you know. Now I'm not. I haven't gone into like a more advanced stuff like um, shadow defense clears, right? Where this they could possibly boom it. You know, take this ball. It's gonna land there, and then they're gonna hit hit it and boom it over your head. You know, or something. You know, that's that's obviously dangerous. But a lot of times though, like when they get a, a big hit towards their net like that, then it's okay to push up with them because like if you if you keep wussing off of these big hits that they're getting that your teammates are pushing up with, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna turn off of it. And by the time that opportunity comes up, you're going to be too far away to do anything, you know? So, like, you know, see, and then you end up pushing back up anyways. You're like, oh, wait, you know, nothing bad happened. Now I want to go up, you know, but you're not pushing up yeah. with that initial hit, you know? Yeah. Because he gets a hit, yeah. you're like, oh, nice hit. Oh, just kidding. You know, so just, you know, if you, if you see these, these big hits towards towards our net, like, just follow up with it. Like, just, just, just have some faith in your teammate and just try and, you know, push up a bit more, you know, so that you're not, like, all the way back here when when it happens, you know, when you, your next opportunity pops up, so you're not like, you know, not able to get anything going, you know, because your teammate yeah. your teammate has pressure, he does, right, but you're not like you're not like pushing up with it though, you're not pushing up with that pressure. So even if he gets all the pressure in the, in the whole universe right now and like gets the most insane pass or center or you know anything right now and you're all the way back here, it doesn't none of it matters. It, it, it's all for nothing. Right. So if you can like push right. up a bit more. Then, then all of his effort that he puts to center the ball to you won't be in vain. And granted, okay, not every not every center from your teammate is a godsend, and you, and you should go for every single ball that, that that they center. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if if there's something good comes up up here, you're not gonna be ready for it because you're you're wussing out on the on the on the pressure right yeah. now. You know. Yep. Yeah. So we just be, push up a bit more, especially on those big hits towards our net. Right? Just when they get those big hits on the other side, then you just need to push up. You know, close the gap. Yes, though. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. There you go. Close the gap. And very, very nice challenge. I like it. Nice. Okay. I'll take it. It definitely looked a bit risky, only because there was, like, two defenders right there. So one of them, assuming they're really good, they could like instant challenge that. But otherwise, though, good good play here. We got a goal. <laughs> good fifty. Okay, clean. Nice. Okay. So it's kind of, I was talking about this to you on, on tax the other, or before I went on vacation. So I'll typically just do a full, if I don't see them speed flipping, I'll do the full boost and then do a barrel roll, essentially yeah. is my, kind of my strategy there. Nice. If I see them speed flip, I'll do that like early front flip to try to get to it or get the second shot on it before it goes anywhere. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Like, like the kickoff is good. The only way you could do it better, pretty much, is if you're just lined up with the ball better. Like here, like if you wanted to do it a little bit better, I mean, this is you still got a good 50, mm -hmm. but you could do it better still. Like, 
uh, what you could do is, um, what you do is you go in a straight line, you don't turn. But if you can just turn, like, right for the ball. So, pretty much off of, off of go on the spawn, or not go, but, you know, go on kickoff, the whatever, 3, 2, 1, go. Um, literally, if just on spawn. Just turn right away. Just, just, literally, literally just beeline the ball. Don't don't even go off to the side here. Just beeline it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of going like here, and then and then turning, just just go just directly down gotcha. the line like that. Just go. Just just literally turn like right for the ball, and you'll you'll get there faster. And then you know, if you want to be even better about the technique, uh, if if like they're speed flipping and stuff, then you're gonna have to like do that. So like this, like like that, but then right around here, you're gonna have to like pre-jump, put yourself up, yeah. and then attack the middle of the ball if they're, if they're speed flipping. But yeah. otherwise though, like this is fine. But otherwise, but that's how you can do it better though. So instead of coming way off to the side and then turning like mm -hmm. that, it's just faster to just beeline it off off of spawn. You know what I mean? Just go, gotcha. Just go for it, right? And then you could pre-jump as needed if, if it's required of you. So. The idea was there, technique could could be a little better, but otherwise though good. Nice. Clean. Good fifty. Oh, missing boost. On. Alright, so oh okay, okay. Um a lot of stuff happened. Hold on. Okay, so here. Alright. What what are you gonna do with zero boost? Like how how are you supposed to center or do anything if you don't have any boost. Like, what, what are you supposed to do there? Like, you can't do anything. So, here, I would, I would literally just, I would just have you pick up the boost. Like, just, just go, hit the boost, bang, and then, and then turn back in. Like, so you can actually just, back, yeah. you, you just, when you yeah. don't, when you don't have boost, like, you can't really do a whole lot. Like, not that you can't do anything with no boost, it's just that when you don't have boost, like, it kinda, like, whatever push you yeah. put up now was zero. Zero boost, you know, that's a really bad zero. Um, zero boost, right? If you have nothing up here, like, what, your options are limited. You can, like, what, single jump once or something? Like, you can't do shit. So, like, so, like no, there's no point. You may as well just pick up boost, you know, and then and then play it, play the, you know, the, up here, yada yada, grab the thing, plus 100, you know, then you could do more. You could do aerial, you could, you know, whatever, you could do more, okay? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I could see that. I think what got me is he got a pretty good 50 right off of this. So I, you see me arcing towards that boost, and then I... Let me see what happens. My, my, uh, my cursor fucking moved on accident. You got a goal. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. So here, you got, a, you got a very nice kickoff, right? That was good. So I angled towards it, and then I see it going over the opponent's head, and I'm like, oh shit, something might happen. Okay. So I kind of t wind up turning back. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, you won the kickoff very I, nicely. I can totally here. see why. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much like you could go, but like what you could do instead is just let your teammate go because you've done the kickoff, right? So let me back up a bit. Okay. Okay. So you just done kickoff, right? So logically, you right now are not a thing. Because you literally just take kickoff, right? Kickoff makes you a potato, okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So when you do kickoff, you're you're, yeah. you're you're the potato of this play because you've you're the one who's out of the play now because you've done kickoff. Same as the other guy though, like you just did kickoff. So whoever does kickoff becomes a potato, useless, zero <laughs> zero boost, useless, okay? All right, mm -hmm. all right. You don't you got nothing. All right, after kickoff, you you don't you can't. There ain't, there ain't no magical, you know, Superman coming in and giving you a hundred boosts right after this, you know. It's like, oh, dick kick off, and like, oh, God comes in, he's like, oh, here's a hundred boosts, all right, down, do whatever you want. It doesn't happen, okay? So, <laughs> so, like, you know, play it out, get, you know, do the 50, become a potato, right? Right, right now you've done the 50, because, you know, kick off, makes you a potato, now you're useless, all right? So you want to be useful, right? Go either rotate... Or go pick up some boost because if you don't have boost, then you're useless, all right? Because that that kickoff took all your boost and made you a potato, so now you can't do anything. So 
If you yeah. want, if you want to just let your teammate, you know, take care of your of your potato, because you're the you're the potato, right? And he's gonna take care of you, right? So just let him go for the stuff, all right? Let him push it, all right? Then, you know, while you go be busy being a, a rotating potato with no boost, right? You can go get some <laughs> while he does stupid shit, okay? So while he does, so while he pushes in here, he's like, okay, I'm gonna go for you and cover the whole area, right? He's got all this cover for you, so like you can go back here, yeah, get the boost, pick it up, play behind him, play safe, you know. Push up and then you know, then you could gauge your options yeah. up here, whatever you know. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to let your teammate kind of in front of you, especially after kickoff when you're a potato who has nothing. So go get some damn boost, damn it. <laughs> See, and now because we didn't get any boost, now we're a potato for even longer. But whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no boost pickup, man. God. Okay, all right. Let's think about this again. Okay, so watch. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to get a visual of your teammate so I could illustrate this better. Okay, now uh, you turn off all cam right there. Let me see the awkward. Uh, okay, good, 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 good. That's fine. Okay, a little blurry, but we can work with it. Um. Okay, once again, your team. So the ball. Ball. Ball is over here. Okay. It's over there. Alright. You know who else is going over there? Your teammate. Right? So guess what? Once again, cut this bad boy in half. Alright? Guess where your teammates got covered? All this. All of it. Again. Right? Again. So there's no reason that you can't really trust him to go for over like to trust him that he can't get the ball there, okay? So what you can do? Wait. Oh no! Did he? Okay, I stole it. Did he That's change? why I went off ball cam to visit to myself for there. Saw him, went back on ball cam, and rotated. And I swerved. Didn't, I, didn't I, mean. even, I didn't even see that. Ah oh, shoot. Okay. Well. All right. In that case. Um. So obviously. Oh, the wrong thing. Whoops. Oh no. Can't get rid of that. Okay. My bad. Um. Okay, get to here. Don't pick up boost when we should have. All right, get to about here. All right, not picking up pads. Not picking up pads. Not picking up any pads. No, no, no. Don't get any pads. Okay. Okay. So at this point, because you haven't picked up any pads on the way back here, all right. So get to here. Get to here. Get to here. Get to here. Okay. Get to this point. Okay. And literally just instead of drifting into the middle of the net, all right. Just just go. So instead of doing this. And then drifting in, and then sitting here, just just go back here, rotate back in like that, so that you're actually in back post for once. You know what I mean? So even mm -hmm. even so even mm -hmm. so even though you're low boost right now, okay. If you want to cover the net properly, you need to be back post. If you want to be back back post, then you need to be back here. So if you want to, yeah. right while there's extra time for the shot, then take one of these, like you know, pad there, pad there. Uh, pad right here. Maybe, maybe no, there's not one right there. Never mind. You know, but you could like try and route these a bit. Like take a route like that, or maybe just go right for these ones. I don't know. But then come back in. You know, so that you're actually back mm -hmm. post, and you can cover the net. You know, net, net, this whole thing, whatever, right? So, yep. so, that, so it's a lot better to be back post than to sit right here, right? And then they shoot like, you know, behind you up here and then uh you know and then it's uh very sad because they s score the ball right here and you're back here and they shoot behind you right and over your yeah. head and that sucks so uh i just i just personally like if you can go back post there that's a gonna be a better position to defend from uh, as well as taking these pads if it's possible like these ones up here and then going back in so that you can actually defend properly Versus if the ball goes over your teammate and then over your head in the top left corner and then it's a, uh, you know, very sad day for you. And you quit yeah. Rocket League uh, forever. I'm just kidding. That obviously, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I would have quit 5,000 times already. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, anyways, I mean, we don't play this that bad. I'm just letting you know, like, what your options were. Uh, which is either one, like, try and pick up some more pads on the way back here or even just, you know, take that loop. 
you know, like again, yeah. all, all these, bang, 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 just, just something, I don't know, right? I don't know, okay? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay. Teammate's gonna cover that, nice, good. Good, no, why, why, why? Just get some boost, man. Just get boost. Get boost. Get boost. Get boost. Get boost. Oh. Like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. So just when your teammate is challenging, just just like, ah, mm, uh, just uh, I don't know. Okay, I get, I get it. I get it. You don't trust him. All right, I'll admit it. He gets kind of a heavy hit, so it's like might be a bit. It might not work out for him, you know. But, like, this really can only play out, like, so many ways. Like, unless it's somehow, like, unless it's 50 is, like, so dog shit that, like, it, like, pinches, like, this way behind you, you know, that I don't know how this is going to end up that bad, you know? Like, unless he, like, really chalks that 50 up, like, super bad, you know, then, it, then yeah, might, might do that. But otherwise, though, like, you can kind of trust the 50 here a bit, you know, like, and just go for boost, right? Yeah. And then even if it goes over your head, like, by the time you get to here and they challenge, right? You know, it's only gonna go like what what on the sidewall up here. So like, you could like you know yeah. it's gonna arc up here, but then you could like turn back here, down here, and then come back up. You know, I don't know, mm -hmm. right? or something. Just, I don't know. You know, but we just we're not picking up the boost. Like you have time to pick up boost, but you're like having so little trust in your teammate, like all the time, and just cutting corners that you're not getting any boost. So it's like making this stuff like really awkward for you. You know. I mean, this, I mean, you can still work with that. I'm just, you know. No, that's fine, yeah, I guess. I'm just so focused on covering this ball and where it's going. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't, re I really don't think you played that bad, to be honest. Like, I'm just, I'm just, like, thinking about what I would do in that situation. It's like, I, I feel like it would be safe enough to go get boost there. Granted, it would be a little bit awkward there because yep. it would be the, the ball would uh, bounce in the corner here. So, come off this thing and then bounce out. Like that. And then, right. And then I'd have to hit it across the net or something. Not yeah. to get it out of there. Yeah, so I mean it's not I don't think it's a bad I don't think it's a bad thing. <clears throat> I'm just Yeah. So here Yeah, that, that works, that's fine. I mean granted you're not playing that bad with low boost, so you're like playing just fine, you know. Um yeah, it's probably a little easier to play with low boost in diamond than it is in anywhere else. Yeah, I mean we're we're making it work here. Like this is fine, you know. You're, you're you're positioning properly to cover the ball, and I think that's the most important thing. So, yeah, while I might like uh, complain about you not picking up the boost as much, like it really doesn't. In the grand scheme of things, you're still covering the ball, so like I don't think it's like a you know actual crime or anything, you know. Like so you're still doing your job, which is cover the ball, you know, which is what we need to do. So we'll take it. And then the boost gets stolen. That's fine. <laughs> that, that's fine in that case. Like that's not a big deal. That's just gonna happen. Yeah, so I mean, it would have been nice to have a bit more boost, but really, in the grand scheme of things, not 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 not, not that important. Like even here. So if I, I beam her down, right? I mean, it wasn't in, but the the main, the main thing that you're achieving here though is just pressure. Like you're you're relieving pressure from your own side. So like whatever, you know, pressure. They start you know pushing that way. You're now relieving it because you're now putting it the other way, and now it's over in this half, right? Um, yep. So now, number one, you're relieving pressure off your team so that you guys can, like, recover, regroup, you know, make a make your next, you know, set of game plans, whatever, right? You know, so that you're not, like, constantly, def you know, uh, fighting for your life on defense now. So this, this hit does a lot of good things. Number one, puts a little bit of pressure on them because it's, like, you know, moving towards our net. And then number two whatever pressure they had started over here, now you're sending it back over there. So now there's no pressure, you know? So, um, just a good hit in general, I think. Like, like, yeah, obviously you didn't get a lot of power on it, but it still achieves its purpose, which is just to do those two things which I just talked about, which is to really pressure and then, you know, put a little bit of pressure on them, make them, make them panic a bit, you know? But, oh, see? Oh, man, yeah. So even that, just that little hit, even if there wasn't that much boost, you know, got enough power on it to where um, it made them awkward, and that guy even just committed for it, you know? So, you know, he committed a man down just by hitting the ball forward, you know? Yep. So, good. Fortunate, man. Um, yeah, you're just taking too long. 
Yeah. It's, it's just a, either you go or you don't. So if you if you, if you get in La La Land and you, and you don't choose one, then this is what happens. Yeah, and I power slid a little too much, made myself awkward. Yeah, so... It's, I, oh, shit. Then I had to correct it. Grab shit. I don't even, I'm not even really sure if I would have turned for that, if I'm being honest. Like, yeah, I think you could. Sure. Um, but I think. Dude, just gone back. Uh, I just feel like maybe your teammate. Um, let me play this forward a bit. I mean, he was already coming in there a bit, so. I mean, I don't know. I feel like maybe. Like, again, maybe he could have covered it, sort of. Like, he could have covered this area a bit, and then you could have, um, i trying to think, this goes here, so, like, maybe you could go, like, back up, and then around back here, like that, sort of, Yeah. maybe, it's just, I mean, this is just a thing, right, because if your teammate can cover a certain area, right, you know, it, you guys don't need to be there sometimes, you know, like, I don't know. It's just it's just one of those, it's just one of those things where, where where this guy it's like yin, yin and yang, you know. Um, so this guy's the yeah. Yin. He just kind of comes around the ball and faces the wrong direction. So I sort of assumed he was gonna rotate around, which he does. I guess that's why I turned back. But yeah. I can totally see playing it a little bit more safe, especially given the result. Mm -hmm. So not not like a huge mistake. It's just like. You know, if you're gonna turn on it, like, you know, I mean, you this is this can work. You, like, if you want to turn on it, that's fine. You just need to like snap. You know, like, no, yeah, no, commit to it faster. Yeah. Yeah, just don't don't dilly dally too much. Like again, this could work. Like it could work. You just need to like be faster about it, and you just need to go on it. You know, because if you take too long, then you're just gonna get dunked. Yeah. But I did. I was just yep. showing you the other option of like how we could you know use our teammate. Uh, our teammates spacing yeah. to make it more effective or just like commit less sort of uh, if you think about it so again yeah. this is this can work it's an option you just have to be you just have to be on it you know be a, be a, be a better ball chaser I guess <laughs> yeah okay all right not bad I just I really I really want you to like Try and take these arcs. Probably creep down them too hard. Yeah. I, I just I mean look the, it's going down your net yeah but like it's not gonna roll down there until like five seconds later you know like there's, there's still time to get stuff you know and and use that time so just you know if you can yeah. like just prioritize again obviously I want you to end up here but how we're gonna get there you could beeline it which is an option but I don't really recommend it I don't recommend beelining. I would, yeah, especially, I mean, I would beeline if there's, like, no time left. If there's, like, one second until you get scored on, then, yeah, just go, like, just go beeline, you know, fun, sure. But if there's, like, time, yeah. the ball's rolling up, it's like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna roll up here. Oh, wow, oh, wow, you know, cool, right, whatever, slow, stupid, you know, like, then, then you have some time to do something. So I just want you to try and, like, remember to try and come out wider around your teammate and then just pick up these pads up here, you know, that are up, up around here, you know. Just because you can. So again, yep. plan, round, pad, 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 in here, X marks the spot. Whatever. Okay. Yep, I'm with you. Okay. Just because you're, again, you're beelining for the ball, so, like, you're putting yourself in really awkward positions, almost. Okay, there we go. That's better. But, like, like you, you were going to go over here anyway, so, like, why wouldn't you just, you know, stick with that, you know? Like, you go here in the middle, but you're like, oh, wait. Oh, now I want to go over there. So, like, if you're if you're going to go over there in the first place, like, why wouldn't you just take the pads on, on right. the way there? You know? Like, you, right. Like, this was, yeah. this was already your intended destination, but, like, you may as well just be more efficient about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And good following, good pad pickups. Good, 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 good. See, that's better. We're, we're following more confidently now. Like, see, now we have that little bit of trust in our teammate, and now we're following very, very nicely. Like... So that when the 50 happens, we're able to like pounce on it just like that, you know, like snap, you know, like e even if even if uh, Surge there like 50 him, so let's say Surge comes in here and he 50s that guy, right? 
like you would you would mm-hmm. you would have been able to go on that immediately, like immediately because mm-hmm. you're, because you're following him very nicely right now, like in terms of um, that sort of thing, you know. Like you could literally just pounce on that. Yep. That's how close you are, you know. So it's like close enough yep. to where like you can go for stuff, but like also not so close that you are gonna get dunked. If that makes sense. Like this is really good spacing right now. Just being that close is good. Good, good. Oh, I actually almost scores. See, and then because you're following so close, look how fast you're able to pounce on that. Right? Bang! Immediately. Look, you're just, you're already going on it, right? Like you're immediately going on it. No hesitation. Just. Boom, 50 happens, and you're like, bam, I'm going. You know, which is good. Okay. Uh, I, that happens to me so much, it drives me crazy. So, I, like, I, and I always kick myself in the ass, because I'm like, oh, I should have jumped off the wall and hit it. But the perspective makes me feel like it's rolling along the wall, and I roll, like, right underneath it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think your solution for that, this is my solution for everyone who, do, who does these, um, is... So get to here, right? And then just come, like, just come a bit wider. So, like, um, let me play it forward a bit more. So if you're able to just, like, come in a bit wider, like this. So come a bit wider and then come in like that. You know, you'll get to about here-ish. And then the ball will be about here or somewhere somewhere up here on the wall so by the time that you're up here on the wall the ball will also be like relatively close like the gap here will be like minimal right so that mm-hmm. that so this will just give you a, a better angle like because you're because again you can see the ball better when when it's like one to one right so if you're here like you know basically like you're in a shootout with the ball uh, this is like western i don't fucking know you know you know what I mean, like, like you just you would just be you would just be staring directly at the ball, you know, like you wouldn't you wouldn't be coming at it at an angle, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. So if you just come in, round, yeah, yeah, it does. So if you just come in round more and make it so that you're facing the ball, then it's all it's like almost impossible to miss it, like, you know, because you'll you'll just yeah. be facing it. And even if you go, even if you come off the wall here, it's like so close to the wall, you know that like it, you would just have to single jump one time. And you would just get it, you know. So, yep, 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 yep. So just change your approach. Maybe if 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 the ball's awkward, my solution is always just go wider. If it's a, if it's an awkward ball that you're not 100 percent on, then just go wider, right? And then let the ball let the let the balance play out a bit more. Let let it let it roll more before you go for it, you know. Yep. And then decide to pounce on it so that you're not getting caught in these awkward angles, you know, with the this thing where it bounces up and it's like super awkward, right? You know. Yeah. So just let the ball let the ball roll a bit more and then just come in at a wider angle so, so that you know right it's all right though you're good really, really that wasn't a big mistake it was just you know read that's it boom you go, drive past it that's fine that's it you know no big deal i mean even if you miss it you can just go right back you just go right back right back in rotation boom in a circle go back around you know it's not a big deal it's not a big commit yeah And even and even that sort of stuff happens to the best of us, even me. You know, like I'll I'll be going on, you know, one of these types of balls on the wall, and then I'll just like, you know, I'll like be, come come up here, and I'll like drive right past them, like, and I'll come down. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa I literally just missed that. You're kidding me. I'm bot, right? <laughs> yeah. But it still happens. Yeah. Still happens to I'm the best of us. Install. Yeah, it still happens. To yeah. the, it still happens to the best of us. But like I said, it's not a big commit. Like it's not a big deal. You're just gonna keep the momentum we already have going and then just go you know around you know you're gonna keep the momentum yeah. so it's no big deal nice just gotta push up now gotta push up so again see the big hit big hit signal it's a signal it's telling you to go to go back up right yeah big hit see that it's a big hit forward you, you turn right yeah okay so again, the 50, look how far away. I already talked about this, but 50's happening here, you're here. S- space, distance, right. right? I mean, not that, not that that's like a bad thing necessarily, I'm just telling you like how it is. Like, this 50's gonna happen, right. it's gonna play out, it's gonna bounce somewhere, and it's probably gonna play this guy, right here. He's gonna go on it, ball, shoot. You know, like he's gonna, like this yeah. guy's gonna get the ball immediately after this 50, like way before you, because of your distance, you know? Not, again, not that that's a bad thing, yeah. 
I'm just letting you know how this is going to happen. It's going to 50. It's going to play out. It's going to bounce out. It's going to go to this guy, and this guy's going to try and shoot on you or something. You know? It's just how it is. Yeah. See? Played right, right, right to unbound. What did I, what did I just say? You know? Maybe not the exact scenario I thought of, but like some somewhere. 50, and then it goes right to him. You know? Again, yeah. again, not that the, not that that's a bad thing, you know. I'm just letting you know that if, if there was any opportunity there, like a center or something, you know, you're so far away that there's no way you're gonna follow up on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, okay. Oh come on, that's money, please. No, no, we actually see that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a good, that was, that was a good shot. Time, good shot though. I, I like the shot. That was good. It was good. Like here, uh, definitely, okay, here, I think our problem now is um, get to about here, and then we push too far. So we push just a little bit too far, and then what happens is that by the time that he hits it back to your teammate, you're so far up now that it makes it awkward, and then you like turn like that, you know, and then you can't follow it up immediately. So I would say like maybe the way this could have been easier to score is if we just like stopped ourselves a little bit earlier like get to here and just like stop ourselves and just just let him pass it you know like because again the problem is like maybe excuse me um like if we just kind of like plant ourselves and let him hit it i think let me let me play out again a bit more like uh i don't know i i just feel like we were able to like plant ourselves back here and just let him go for it and then that sort of thing, then maybe we could have been able to react better and jump for it, you know? Like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so just something to think about, about why that might have happened, is that you push up kind of close, maybe a little bit too close, uh, for what it's worth, and then that forces you to turn turn and do a 360. Does that make sense? So here, yeah. you maybe could have been ready for it faster if you were just already pointed the ball. Oh, that's not what it... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you already pointed this direction when this happened. You know, you could just go up immediately. Like, no questions asked, yeah. just, just go, right? But now, because you're turning like this, you know, you're having to take a longer route before you're actually facing the ball, right? Like that, and then you can go. But then that's slower, and you can't react as quick. So if you're able to, like, yeah. make sure that when these passes come out, that you're a bit further back, back here, and that you're pointed towards the goal that when these come out and play in front of you, you'll just be able to go immediately, right? Yeah. Right. So that's that's kind of maybe the issue that we have here. And we can't go for it quite as quickly, and then, you know, the shot wasn't bad, not at all, I don't believe. Uh, depending, I mean, maybe if you, like, timed it a bit, uh, l like, if you waited a bit longer, and then you timed it on the floor. So here, if you were to, like, come out, like, um, let's see here. So the ball's gonna arc down here, the ball's gonna land here about, and then your car, the, at least this corner right here, would be about here. So this, this would be, like, the corner of your car, or something, and then you would kind of, like, you know, this is maybe, like, the bottom of your car-ish. Oh, that's a terrible drawing. Hold on. Yeah. Um, but then you could, like, try and time it with the floor and then try and sh it off the bounce instead of the aerial mm -hmm. that, that's like your or just that's like your, that, that, where do a volley. yeah that's like your that's kind of like your next best option um in terms of like trying to score this but again because like you jumped a bit early a little bit um your your angles kind of got cut off a bit so now you're only able to shoot from like here and then only into here like, these are, like, your only shooting options, basically, at that point. Maybe a little bit of this, but otherwise, no. So, I mean, you could, you could blame two things. You could blame shooting technique, which I don't think is the main problem here. I think the main problem is just that you weren't facing the ball when the guy passed it to you, and that's just because you were, mm -hmm. too, you were too close up here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Start my recording again. 